This morning, hundreds of people gathered in Raleigh to watch North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper veto an abortion ban bill. Now, the proposed bill would have banned nearly all abortions after 12 weeks. Because when women's health is on the line, I will never back down. And I know you won't either, but I know one thing for certain. Standing in the way of progress right now is this Republican supermajority legislature that only took 48 hours to turn the clock back 50 years on women's health. Now, Governor Cooper sent back a message to the General Assembly after vetoing the bill. It says in part, quote, the bill will create dangerous interference with the doctor patient relationship, leading to harm for pregnant women and their families. With its medically unnecessary obstacles and restrictions, it will make abortion unavailable to many women, particularly those with lower incomes, those who live in rural areas, and those who already have limited access to health care. Now, just over a week ago, the state's GOP controlled the Senate passed the measure in a party line vote. Governor Cooper's veto now sets up a likely override in the legislature with Republicans holding a supermajority.